Andy Sopapa. I mean, today is actually the day for the Mescom Festival. So as you can see, this, this, uh, this is more like a decoration, yeah? Yes. Is this decoration for the yes. festival? Yes, it is, yes. yes. But what does this mean? What does it mean? Uh-huh. Um, because in my country, yeah. we use flowers for decoration, but this is like green grass. Yes. For Oh, it's, it's, mm. it is a tradition. Just a tradition. Yeah, there's no actually. So, alright, so what I'm gonna do today is that um, the festival is in the evening, so see, they're all getting clothes for the festival this evening. Oh, hi. Hi. Mes oh, see, I'm coming from Congo, eh? so I like saying Messi Boku. Messi Boku. I'm a Saganalo. Okay, good. <laughs> Hi. Traditional festival. Yeah, this, is, this is not a traditional festival. It's a religious festival now, so, it's but a religious it was a traditional festivity uh, back to centuries. Oh, okay. Wow. This looks so much fun, man. As you can see, so many people. Yeah, at the Mescal Square. The Mescal Square. Yeah. Why is it called the Mescal Square? 
square. Is it purposely for the festival? It's meant for the festival. Okay. Yeah. During the communist it was called Revolutionary Square. Oh, okay. This is one of the experiences that you will never get it anywhere until you come to Ethiopia. Believe me, what I saw them doing, I thought it's just a dance. Until a woman out there told me that no, you can't add your body to it, but just hold your hand because this is so spiritual. So if something is spiritual, all you need to do is like, you know, no body movement, just your hand. Hey, hey, and you come closer. Come. Thank you. It, it, it's yeah. more, it's, it's dance. No, like, it's just like you have to do like this. Your hand. hand is, so the hand is the movement of the hand, yeah. not with the body. Can we dance for ourselves? Can we? Okay, one, two, three, let's go. you have to move your hands before you clap? It's two times. Away. Two times? Yeah, you have to do like this and when you finish like this, you have to clap it. Okay, so clap. one, two, clap. No. Uh, there are some of verses that are playing. Oh, okay. When, the fin when you finish the verse of the uh, song or the music, mm -hmm. we have to do like that. You have to clap. Clap. Yeah. Okay. Yes, look at them. All right, I have to look at them. Yeah. Right now. Jeez. No matter how much I learn this, I know it's definitely going to be difficult for me. But hey, it, it, it's it's not my culture, but I'm learning. And I guess you are all learning with me. Thank you. You know what? I like the fact that this is so organized to the extent that they are making sure that security is super tight. I mean, there are so many people in here, but they still have to check you. Right now is a group of different churches marching to the Mesca Square where the main event is happening. Yeah. 
This is the Mascar Square, right? Yeah. So what is happening in here right now? Okay, uh, different uh, uh, church singers as well as uh, church people will parade from their respective church to this place. Okay. And they'll be singing spiritual songs and they'll be showing some uh, spiritual stuff. Uh, and uh, the church leaders will also address the people about the importance, the significance of uh, the celebration. Uh, and uh, at the end, the bonfire will be lit. The ones that spawn in the middle. Okay. You see? The ones that spawn in the middle. Oh yeah, that's the bonfire. Yeah, yeah. So people will be uh, lulling and uh, you know singing. Uh, that will be the culmination of uh, the celebration. Okay. Uh, by the way, the, the importance of the bonfire is that uh, uh, Prince Helena, the one who found found the true cross was instructed in her dream to use a bonfire to find the whereabouts of uh, the cross. Is, it, is the person who found the true cross Ethiopian? No, she's not Ethiopian. Where is she from? She's, she's the mother of uh, Constantine the Great, the Roman Emperor. The Roman Emperor. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, um, how many people are here right now? I don't think you know it. Yeah, you know, but I, I expect... Uh, Probably more than two million. More than two million people. Yeah. Wow. Why do most Ethiopians celebrate this festival then? Oh, now it has become part of the Christian uh, uh, tradition. Uh, but previously, it was uh, also uh, observed by uh, by people like who are not Christians. But now. Uh, you know, there's a term called syncretism. Okay. That is a pagan tradition can be incorporated into a Christian tradition. Okay. Uh, but actually, uh, this celebration was celebrated specially to the southern part of Ethiopia uh, to observe uh, the transition, the transition, uh, okay, from the rainy season to to the dry season. Okay. So, which means that you celebrate this festival at the end of the rainy season. Yes. It's raining today. Which is, we are still in the rainy season. Yeah, but uh, okay. we say uh, September 11, according to Gregorian calendar, which is September 1st in our calendar, marks the true end of the rainy season. Nowadays, we are uh, celebrating using flowers. Ooh. That tells you that the rainy season has already ended. Oh, okay. I mean, I have to call already, but I would like for you. It's the I mean, the president is here, not the prime minister. The president is here. So, oh wow. It's security, bro. It's security. It's security. It's so much 
phone, man. Yo, I've never seen anything like this before. This is absolutely beautiful. It's so colorful out here with the fire and heaven. Oh my goodness, like that. Oh, good. Jeez. For the first time, send your friend and family, tell them that this is what we call the Mesca Festival in Ethiopia. Thank you for watching. My name is Mr. Ghana Baby. I am Maya. Peace out.